quite a popular area for baboons to forage. Lots of potential food around. Look at that guy. His cheeks are so full. One on the right. Now, baboon uh, being a primate can be a little bit greedy and uh, will keep anything they can find to eat in their cheeks to stop the other baboons having access to them. And you can see that massive round cheek. So they, they have quite complex social structures like most large primates. So there are a group of alpha males known as dog baboons. A big male baboon is known as a dog baboon. And uh, they are in control of the rest of the troop. And they can be very aggressive with troop members. And it's a constant, look at that, you can see his cheek full of food. Oh, and that one's got double cheeks. So as, we, as we're saying about the, the social structure, now if any of those dominant males get injured, the rest of the males will attack him immediately to try get his spot in the social hierarchy. Now Michael's wondering if I've ever been to Cape Town where the baboons run riot uh, and wonders why they do. Well, Michael, it's very, very, very simple why the baboons run riot in Cape Town. It's because of human beings. We are messy, messy creatures. We don't throw away our rubbish. So baboons will forage in rubbish. And as soon as they learn, being a primate, they have quite a high capacity for learning. Uh, as soon as they find out that if they get into a house, there's lots of high nutrients and high, high value food for very little effort. I'm just going to roll forward Ryan, see if we can get him in the gap. So, oh, there we go. Oh no. So uh, basically it's learned behavior uh, from foraging of human beings and uh, it's our fault that those baboons uh, become so brazen and aggressive. Now a baboon, a brazen and aggressive baboon that's lost its natural fear of human beings is an incredibly dangerous animal. And uh, they are capable of inflicting massive damage on a person. And they're a big male baboon's canines are actually longer than a lion's. Oh, I've spotted another animal. And it's my favorite antelope species. I'm just going to see if we can get a nice view of her.